Hi you guys. This week is the last week where we do a huge focus and really look at syllable V dash E or V consonant E. And so a fun way that I thought that we could think about it is really starting to think about the letters themselves again. So I went ahead and pulled this book out and it is a funny book. It's called Vowels and the Consonants. And it's like an old fashioned book uh, back when planes looked different and like the clothes that we wore looked different long ago. Not super long ago, but long ago. But the funniest thing about the book is that the characters are actually all letters in our alphabet. So they're either the vowels or the consonants. So I'm gonna go ahead and read this book. I hope you love it. I think it's super silly. Vowels and the Consonants by Priscilla Turner. Pictures by Whitney Turner. Oh, I wonder if they're sisters or mother and daughter because they have the same last name. And the illustrator does an amazing job with these silly pictures. For as long as any letter could remember, vowels and consonants had been enemies. Enemies means that they didn't like each other and they thought they couldn't be friends. Capital P's, which is the lowercase p's grown up, warned their children, never trust a vowel. The long and the short of it is, they are sly, cunning, two-faced creatures because they can make more than one sound. That's why they're calling them that, which I think is so silly. And every little A, E, I, O, or U, those are all the vowels, knew better than to stray into consonant quarter. Who could imagine what horrible things a gang of roving consonants might do to an unexpecting vowel? Look at them walking around all those letters. The vowels tended to be smug and stuck up. After all, there were fewer of them. Surely they felt that made them better than the common consonants. For their part, the consonants thought all vowels were sissies. Those silly vowel sounds they would say, laughing to each other, ah, and ah, uh, what sort of noise is that for a letter to make? Consonants preferred their own sounds, uh, g, g, s, good, strong, snappy noises, b, b, x, x, x. Most of the time, the consonants and the vowels just disliked and distrusted each other. When they put that dis there, it means that they don't like each other and they don't trust each other. But one day, a taunt was answered with a rock. So this guy said something mean, that E, and this P threw a rock at him. The rock was answered with a spear. This letter E, he went and got a spear to chase after the pea. The spear with a catapult. So then they went and they got this catapult to try to sling things across at the vowels. War! This is why you can tell that this book, they wanted the letters to be living long ago because now if you wouldn't see these kind of cannons. You wouldn't see people flying around in these kind of hot balloons as much when there was a war. The Val Admirals met at battle headquarters and planned their attack. We'll hit them with our screeching sounds. Surely they have no defense against I's before E's. At the same time, the consonant generals were plotting their own strategy. 
Let those barnyard sounds try to stop the snarling grrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
the poems, the plays, our memoirs. Then they strolled back to the Supreme Command's tent for a couple of truly excellent chocolates. And there they are. They have words now, us, if, we. So that was just a really silly, fun book to think about how every single syllable needs to have a vowel. Remember Mrs. Lloyd said that, it can't be a syllable if it doesn't have a vowel sound because we know sometimes why it makes a vowel sound. Um, words must have vowels and they have to work together. And when they work together and we think of how are they working together, how is that consonant acting with that vowel, then we can figure out the sound the vowels are gonna make because they do, they make so many sounds then we start reading. So I hope you guys enjoyed that silly book and I will see you later. Bye.